Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Today we are continuing with our bowl previews, looking at the San Diego County Credit Union Holiday Bowl between the UCLA Bruins and the NC State Wolfpack. UCLA Bruins coming in to the bowl game at 8-4 and four, and the NC State Wolfpack coming in at 9-3. and three. I think this is going to be one of the better bowl games we've seen. Not really many opt-outs to talk about. There's one uh, COVID protocol guy, Quantrez Knight out of UCLA. Their leading tackler is in COVID protocol and is expected not to be in this game. Other than that, there are a lot of draft picks who are opting so far to play in this game, including a Kamekwanu, who's probably going to be a top 15 pick. Zach Charbonnet for the Bruins, who's also probably going to be a day two pick. It's going to be a really fun game between two teams that were at the top of their conferences, uh, the UCLA Bruins and the Pac-12 and the NC State Wolfpack and the ACC. Let's get into the spread and the numbers on this game. The NC State Wolfpack are favored by two points, minus 130 on the money line. So pretty evenly um, contested game, at least Vegas expects it to be. And the over-under is sitting at 60. Looking at the breakdown of how these teams match up, when the UCLA, when the UCLA Bruins have the ball, I think it's going to be really important for the NC State Wolfpack to stop this prolific running game. Um, the UCLA Bruins have ran for 215 yards per game, averaging just around five yards per carry. They do a very, very good job running the ball. Obviously, DTR is a phenomenal athlete. And Zach Charbonne is one of the best running backs we've seen in the country. They also have Britton Brown back, who missed the last couple games uh, with an injury. So this rushing attack is going to be as healthy as it's been. And the NC State Wolfpack are missing some key players um, at their linebacker spot including Isaiah War and Peyton Wilson, who are both not going to be active for this game as far as I know. Drake Thomas has done a phenomenal job stepping in for those two linebackers at the mic position. Uh, he's over 100 tackles on the year, 10-plus uh, tackles for a loss. I think he also has six sacks, so he's very disruptive, very good at getting in the backfield, and he's going to play a really important part in stopping this UCLA Bruins rushing attack. I think the key for the Wolfpack on defense is getting DTR on the UCLA Bruins at third and long. He, it, the UCLA Bruins are not very good at converting third and long situations. They like when they have that run option. So when you're inside a third and five, you guys can run it. Um, but when they're in third and five plus and the run game is a little bit out the window, they struggle to drop back and throw from a pocket. At least DTR does. He struggled with his accuracy. He struggled with some turnovers as well this year. He's thrown six but I also think he has some fumbles on the year as well. He's actually been pretty good this year, but I think that's the key for the Wolfpack defense to hold this rushing attack at bay and get him to third and longs and then get off the field on third down. Flipping over to the NC State Wolfpack, coming into the year, I loved the NC State Wolfpack. I thought they were going to be a really ground and pound team. They had two phenomenal running backs coming back in Zonovan Bam Knight and Ricky Pearson Jr., who have been a phenomenal two-headed monster for this backfield. However, they haven't really leaned on the run game as much as I thought they would. Um, Zonovan Knight has 140 carries uh, for 753 yards. Ricky Pearson is just under that with 135 carries for just under 600 yards. So they split the attempts pretty evenly. Zonovan Knight's been a little bit more um, efficient with his carries, but Ricky Pearson is more of that goal line, more physical running back. They do a phenomenal job at spelling each other. But the key in, in what we've seen the NC State Wolfpack go to is the, the air game. Uh, Devin Leary's thrown for 3,400 yards, uh, 35 touchdowns, five interceptions. He's been absolutely phenomenal for the Wolfpack and a, a large reason why they're a top 20 team in the country. I didn't really see this coming. I still like the NC State Wolfpack, and I was kind of right on them considering they're 9-3. and three. But I thought it looked a lot different than, than what it has looked like. So credit Devin Leary and that NC State Wolfpack offense because they're phenomenal. And let's talk about some of those receivers, Emeka, Mezzi, Tahir Thomas, and Devin Carter. They're kind of a, a trio that have been really effective for this Wolfpack offense, Amezi and Carter being some of the bigger contested catch guys, Tahir Thomas being that slot separator. And it's, been, it's worked really well. They've thrown for 288 yards per game. That is phenomenal. And they've really only run, they've only run for 126 yards per game. So relatively surprising considering how good that offensive line is at Kemakwanu, Gibson, 
kind of moving guys. They haven't run the ball as much. Not necessarily. They've run it pretty effectively. They just haven't leaned on it as much as I would have thought. And so that's something interesting to keep an eye on. The UCLA Bruins, I've liked what I've seen um, from them on defense. They, they give a lot of different looks. They bring a lot of blitzes, which I like. Hopefully they can get some heat on Devin Leary, who's he's decently mobile, but he's not great at extending plays. So UCLA is going to look to bottle him up in the pocket uh, and get some heat on him, get that ball out quick. It's going to be an evenly contested game. As, as far as the picks I'm going with, I like the under. I think both teams like to run the ball. I think the NC State Wolfpack are going to try to run the ball. I think the UCLA Bruins are going to try to run the ball. And the NC State Wolfpack defense has been – it's been really good, only allowing 20 points per game. The USA Bruins defense has been also pretty solid considering the, the faster-paced Pac-12, allowing 26.8 uh, points a game. So I'm leaning an under in this 60-point game. I also have been reading about the, the turf. This is at a baseball field, I believe. So the turf might be a, uh, an impact too, which is interesting to keep an eye on. That might hurt some offenses. I'm also leaning with the Wolfpack here. I think they're more complete team. As we talked about, they can run the ball very well, but they also can throw the ball a lot more effective than the UCLA Bruins can. And I think they have a better defense too. Um, looking at kind of how they've both these teams have finished off the season, the Bruins and Wolfpack are, are hot. The UCLA Bruins have won their last three games heading into this bowl game, uh, routing USC and what DTR is probably one of his best games he's had at UCLA, throwing for 350 yards. Uh, he also ran for two touchdowns. Zach Charbonnet ran for 167 yards as well. They put up 62 points on the Trojans and really routed them, uh, which was which was an exciting and, and very big game against, obviously, that crosstown rival in USC. And then they also cleaned up against California, too. The NC State Wolfpack are equally as hot, winning four out of their last five and only dropping – uh, to a pretty solid Wake Forest team, which I watched that game. I think if this game goes for another quarter, I think the NC State Wolfpack would have won. They kind of were storming back. Wake Forest was faltering a little, but they, that 10-point cushion they had in the fourth quarter was just enough for them to hold on for the win. But this NC State t defense at NC State team, they're a good team. Uh, barely losing to Miami. Uh, a, a Miami team that hit some some crazy explosives in this game. Ended up winning with the last second field goal. We lost some money on that one. The NC State Wolfpack also beat Clemson, which was a very impressive game. And this big, the big interesting game out of NC State was when they played Mississippi State in Starkville. I think a lot of people had this game highlighted after they routed South Florida in their first game. NC State missed a lot of opportunities early to get into this game. And then they really just couldn't fight back. So overall, a 9-3 and three and very impressive strength to schedule, too. Playing an SEC team out of conference, obviously playing Clemson, Miami, Wake Forest. They played a lot of solid quality teams in the ACC and really looked pretty good and ended out winning four out of their last five. Um, and I think they're going to be really motivated to come in and, and win this game in California. So I'm rolling with the under 60. I think it's going to be – a little bit more run heavy than we've seen from the NC State Wolfpack. I think they're going to try to establish this line of scrimmage against a UCLA Bruins team. And I think I'm liking, I'm like, I'm leaning NC State to cover that two points too. Again, I think they're the more complete team, but it's going to be a really fun game. I don't love betting against UCLA. We've won a lot of money off UCLA. They've been a good team, but they're just a little bit more inconsistent than the Wolfpack have been. Um, the Wolfpack really haven't been routed or haven't had any bad games outside of that Mississippi State game. The UCLA Bruins, on the other hand, haven't played all that great. They played a tough one against Oregon, who really isn't that good of a team anymore. They also played a close one against Stanford. They got routed by an Arizona State team that wasn't that good. I believe they had the lead at half in that game, and then just, yeah, they gave up 18 points. So um, it looks like they were down one going to half, and then – got outscored 18 and nothing in the second half. They also lost to a tough Utah team as well. So I think we're going under and we're just going to go, we're not going to overcomplicate it, go with the more consistent team, the, the team that's played at a consistently high level throughout the season, which is that NC State Wolfpack. I think they're the more complete team with a, with a, a more diverse and two-dimensional offense compared to the UCLA Bruins and also a very good defense to back it up to, even though they're banged up. That's a review on, on the San Diego County Credit Union Holiday Bowl. We're riding the Wolfpack. We're riding the under. 
it's going to be a good game. It's going to be one of the better games we've had. So stay tuned. We're going to be back with some more bowl games too. This day, this day in general, Tuesday is going to be a fun game. There's a lot of good bowl games on. So I uh, appreciate you guys being here with us and we'll be back with some more previews uh, as we go. Peace.